Hey everybody, welcome back. So, been a while since we've been uh, looking at the ship we're about to look at today. And there's a reason why I'm doing this one again. Because I'm starting all over again. Starting right back from the beginning. I'm going to give every ship that I've ever done a revisit. Including the car to all again. I'm going to do that one a third time, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's going to be what happens. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Aurora MR. Like I said, this ship we haven't looked at in a long time. I actually have two of these. I accidentally bu uh, bought one when I didn't need to. But that's alright. I do enjoy the fact that this has such a nice vibrant red to it. Or the trim, or the, the stripes, or whatever. It's a pretty simple little ship. It's just got a couple guns on it to start out. Uh, you do have a couple extra slots that you can add guns to if you want to, but we're gonna leave it. Go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and leave it stock. Yeah, let's go ahead and hop in it real quick to actually open the door. It's one of those ships where you actually open the door and go in, even though it is small enough that it probably shouldn't really be like that. But yeah, it is. Has a bed. Pretty sure it still has a bed. Yeah, it has a bed. The light is off right now, so we can't really see anything. Let's go ahead and close the door. Yeah, we have this little tiny little bit of space here. Uh, it, I believe it claims to have like three SCU space, which would pretty much be this spot right here. Like, you can fit like three little boxes in here. Any more than that, you might actually start having problems, but you can probably fit more than that really, honestly, if you're brave. And so before we squeeze in and sit there in the seat, I know this is gonna be a short one. It's not a very big ship, so we don't have much to look at. But before we go ahead and squeeze into the seat there, let's go ahead and take a look at the Urkel. And when we get back, we're going to go ahead and take it out for a nice little combat run because it is a combat ship. It's a combat starter. And so, for the Aurora MR, in the weapons we have two Veripucked Bulldogs. Uh, everything's size 1 over there, so you got size 1 Veripucks, size 1 Bulldogs. It doesn't quite work the same at size 1 as it does everywhere else, so don't worry about like it being less power because it's on a, a gimbal. It just is gimbaled. And you can buy size 1 Veripucks for the other two slots and put a couple more Bulldogs on there if you want, or whatever else you want really. There's plenty of other spaces, as long as it's size 1. But that is the weapons. Uh... Each Bulldog is only 195 sustained DPS each themselves, so 390, and if you filled it out, you'd end up at, uh, you would end up at 780 DPS, which isn't bad for a starter. On your missile rack, you got two size 1 marksmen. They are infrared. Later on, you're gonna hear me debating back and forth on that. I'm an idiot. Just, it's infrared. Don't listen to me later. Uh, the Quantum Drive is a size 1 EOS civilian grade C. Has a max speed of 138,544 kilometers per second. It'll go the distance, it's just kind of slow. It's not, not very quick about it. For the shields, we have two size 1 Bulwark industrial grade C shields. They're 1500 hit points each. It is a size 1 ship, so we are looking at a bubble that gives us 3000 hit points on the full shield. Power plant is a size 1 Roughneck Industrial Grade D. Gives us 3,997 power per second. We're using 1,165. Uh, probably plenty of power there to be able to power everything, even if you upgrade to uh, uh, gimbaled weapons in all four slots. I'm just going to assume that would work out, but if you want to, you can probably upgrade it a little bit. And for our coolers, we got a couple of size 1 Hydrocell Industrial Grade Ds, giving us 380,000 cooling per second each, which is like 88,000 together. 760,000 cooling per second. And we only, we're only using like 88,000, we have like 88,000 heat, so... Meh. The Aurora MR is a light fighter roll with a combat career. Duh. Uh, the ship is a size 2, crew size of U. Body is uh, 1,880 hit points, and the nose has 1,940 hit points, giving a total of 6,290 hit points. Somewhere. There's another, there's like another 2,000 hit points in there somewhere. Or like 3,000 hit points almost. SEM speed is 147 meters per second. Max speed is 1212 12 meters per second. It is a little bit of a frying, flying brick. It doesn't really like uh, doing yaw too much in Atmo. It will fight you. Hydrogen capacity is 45,000. 
and the quantum fuel capacity is 583. Uh, fairly small tanks on this. Again, it's a starter ship, so you don't expect too much. It is available in game at New Deal in Lorville for 184,900 AUEC, or if you just want to buy one in the store. There is usually some form of an Aurora available. Uh, it's not always the MR, but the MR is currently available thirty dollars US dollar or thirty US dollars. I don't know what that is in pounds here. Oh, never mind. It won't tell me. <laughs> there you go. All right, welcome back from that Urkel there, and let's go ahead and hop on in the pilot seat. I'm gonna go ahead and get it started and get the doors opening real quick, but then I need to get out of the seat and change my suit again because I did notice I am still wearing my Space Kitty suit. So let's get it started up. Welcome to Mobile Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. You are clear to launch. I wanna hop out of the seat real quick. There we go. Now, in case something happens, we won't have to worry about dying and losing all our crap. We're right, gonna take off. Go forward, put that landing gear away. It's only a little bit of a landing gear anyway, it's not really anything special or no big transformation in this ship. So we'll just go ahead and start flying up on out in the in space. It's kind of an interesting little front profile there. I see this thing looks like a flying torpedo still. Just looks like a man torpedo. That's what it is. All right. Well. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and get ourselves some work. Alright, here we go. Finally found something that's gonna be like... Probably a doable mission. Go ahead and just take off. Oh wait, we're still calibrating. Okay, now. Go! Gotta go all the way to Hurston Fort though. Whoop. Over this way. Alright, so while we're on our way to uh, get to, I believe, what, Leibowitz? Yeah, Gun Deep Leibowitz. Let's go take a look at our, our uh, MFDs real quick. Starting over here. This cluster. So we got ourselves contacts, self target, power triangle. Always good. Over here, we've got our target. This one, which I believe is just shield power and strength and stuff, and then weapons. So it's kind of nice because they have pretty much everything. I think it is like everything. Now there's maybe two missing, but we don't really ever use them, so. What are they? Nope. Just one missing. Heat. Who cares? Uh, I think we do have a couple buttons here and there. There's power. And over here we have engine power, like engine on and off, and then we have open the doors. Yeah, it looks like we do not. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, I guess we only have ship power, engine power, and doors. Landing gear, you gotta use your uh, keyboard or some sort of hotkey. But hey, we got plenty of M MFDs, and we're almost there. We do got a couple of missiles. We can probably pop those missiles off at someone when we get there. A couple of marksmen, size one. I believe those are. Well, that symbol looks like it shows. Is that just the? That's probably just the ammo emblem. I'm pretty. I thought marksmen were supposed to be cross section. I guess they're thermal because it does look like the thermal symbol up top. <laughs> I could swear they were cross section. Yeah, I guess they are thermal. Whatever. Probably gonna fly this one full speed for the whole time. Not bother with putting the speed limiter on. It's not a super fast ship anyway. Might not really matter. Kinda interesting, it's right over the flats.
Alright, so I think I'm going to use my missiles for whoever your buddy might be. Not for you, but your buddy. Where are you at? You want to load up? Like... Where's my target? That's alright, I'll wait. I'll pop hover on. Or VTOL, even though we don't have like a VTOL mode necessarily. Is that coming towards me? That's coming towards me. No, it's not. I was going towards it. I still don't see any ships. Well, going to be too close for uh, missiles. There we go. Guess he's all by himself. Oh, it's a C8 Pisces. <laughs> I almost feel bad. Is he going to shoot back? Let's see if he shoots back. I'm curious. Oh, he shoots back. And he's uh, he's dead back too. He's he's definitely dead. All right, race to see who gets to the ground first. Uh, I think I'm gonna win. Maybe not. Maybe not. Didn't even make it to the ground. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of trying to do that. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and come back for more. Bye!